everyone, welcome to another video. To those who are new to my channel, welcome, my name is Paula. Here I talk about perfumes and fragrances. And to my returning viewers and subscribers, welcome back. As always, thank you for the continued love and the support. Today, I'll be reviewing Paco Rabanne's Pure Excess for Women, and I'll be comparing it to Olympia, also by Paco Rabanne. If you guys want to know what I think about these two fragrances, then keep on watching. But before I start with today's video, I would like to remind you guys, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you like everything and anything about perfumes, then please consider subscribing. And when you do, don't forget to click the notification bell since it lets you know every time I put up a new content. And of course, if you like today's videos and all my other videos, don't forget to click the like button and also leave comments down in the comment section below. Okay, so for today, I will be reviewing this perfume right here this is pure excess by paco rabanne i have been wanting to get this perfume for so long i have seen it a million times on instagram and i did mention on my previous video my last haul for 2020 hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> my last haul for 2020 that it was love scent or love scent nj here on youtube that really made me want to get this one because i've been seeing her pictures on instagram and i was like I need to get that one. And I have been hearing a lot of reviews about this one. Takara here on YouTube also reviewed this one. Um, Deborah Day also reviewed this perfume. She loves it. And also Sasha or What Are You Wearing It, Sasha. And I have been asking them a lot. I've been going back to their videos and asking them, okay, here for research, I'm thinking about Paco Rabanne Pure Excess. And I have been asking them also because this one is being compared a lot to Olympia and they don't really see the similarities in this one. But anyway, I will be telling you guys what I think about this. Just look at the bottle. It's just so beautiful. I think it's really beautiful. I got a 80 ml bottle. I think this one is. And this is just so beautiful. It got the snake in there. I did mention that it reminded me of the Taylor Swift video. It does look like a Garden of Eden apple with a snake in there. But yeah, I love the presentation of this one. Okay, so enough about the packaging, enough about the bottle. Let's talk about the scent. Okay, so I know a lot of people have been talking about this one being a popcorn kind of fragrance. When I first heard that, I think I heard that from Emmy by Emmy's World of Fragrance that this one smelled like popcorn. I was like, I love popcorn as I've always mentioned, but I don't want to smell like popcorn. You know, it's like there are a lot of things that you really love to smell, but you don't want to be smelling like those kind of things. And popcorn is one of them. And this one is not your buttered popcorn. It's not your cheese or cheddar cheese popcorn. It's like your kettle corn popcorn that's sweet and savory. And I do get that here, but when I first smelled this one, I did not get the popcorn note. I saw this one and I didn't bother smelling it because I was just zoned in. I was tunnel visioned into um, Olympia. But when I did smell this one, I got a little bit of the popcorn, but I got most of the floral notes that's in here. And I did try this twice or three times in the store before I finally got this one as a, not really a blind buy, but I ordered it online. And um, so, yes, I needed those two more visits to the store and smell this one before I decided on getting the full bottle. Because on first sniff, from the first time I smelled this, it was okay. I got a little bit of the popcorn, but I got most of the floral. The second time I got just the floral, I was like, where is the popcorn? I don't care for the popcorn, but I want to smell it. And on the third time, I got everything that I really wanted to smell in this one. And that's the time that I decided to get and order a bottle. So the bottle I got from our local website, ilmvat.net. And I got, I, I don't know how much I paid for this one, but it was very, very affordable. I think for the price of this one, I could get a 30 ml bottle or a 50 in the store. So anyway, I got most of the florals that's in here. Um, I can't pinpoint or I can't pick up a specific floral, but I did write notes, floral, question mark, I don't know, I guess I didn't know what floral it was, and I did get some sort of a sweet accord to this one. This is sweet, floral, what I got right away, and I do get the 
popcorn note that's in here but it's not just your plain popcorn it's not it's not your like theater popcorn that you really smell like super prominent or super strong but i do get a bit of the popcorn in there a little savory accord a little savory note but there is something very creamy and milky in here not straight up cream i think that's not the right word something milky kind of nuance to this fragrance and i don't know what makes that one give that i don't know what note gives that kind of um milky kind of smell to this one but yes i get mostly florals i get a popcorn note that's in there but it's not overpowering for me i'm so lucky because some people are put off with the popcorn note that's in here but for me i get that for the first hour or so and then i just get the beautiful florals so this one it's a mainly a floral fragrance with a little bit of selling point in there and just add the popcorn. But I really, really love this one. I don't know what gives that um, milky note that I mentioned, but it has a milky note and I did write um, longevity for this one, eight plus hours for sure. You can get six to eight hours, depends on the humidity, the weather, the temperature, and where you spray it, if you just spray it on your skin. But of course, if you spray it on your clothes like I did, that's why I wrote eight plus hours because I did spray it on my skin and on my clothes and it lasts a long time. But when I wore this one, it was during the colder days. So I don't know how this one would perform during the hotter days. I just got it and I've been trying it. So yeah, during the colder days and when I sprayed it on my clothes and on my skin, it lasts a good eight, even plus hours. And for Siyash, it is a moderate to heavy Siyash kind of fragrance, especially for the first two hours or the first hour when you spray this one. I did spray this when my best friend and I went to dinner once and, you know, I could kind of, you know, sense that she was kind of sniffing. But I don't know, she had the sniffle, so I, I don't know, I didn't even bother asking her, am I, am I bothering you with my perfume? I should have asked her, but you know, it's that kind of fragrance. And my son did also mention that he smelled this one when I first sprayed it before I went out for dinner. And also when I came back, he could still smell it on me, so it's long lasting. But for Siyash, I would say moderate to heavy, of course, depending on how much you spray and when you just sprayed the fragrance, because that also matters. So based on Fragrantica, this is a vanilla floral woody fragrance. It has yellow florals in there and your powdery accords. So I do get that in the dry down, you get most of the powdery notes that's in here. For the notes in this fragrance, it has your ylang ylang, that's your yellow floral, and you also have your orange blossom. It also has peach in here, another note that I love, but I honestly do not get the peach that's in here. Maybe I need to wear this and test this out more, but I don't get the peach. I did say in my notes that I got something sweet and fruity. I guess that's the peach that's in here. So it also has your vanilla. It has, of course, your popcorn note, and surprisingly, it has the coconut note. I see that here. It has coconut and coconut can be you know very milky and very creamy or like tonic or very nutty kind of tropical um, um vibe and i did get some sort of a milky not straight up creamy kind of smell but it just blends perfectly with everything and um the coconut is not your straight up coconut you don't get it right away so if you don't know that there's coconut in here you wouldn't pick it up i mean i didn't pick it up of course our nose are, our noses are different so I did not pick up the coconut. I did not pick up the peach either. But um, yes, I did get something very milky and very sort of creamy. And also it has your amberwood, your umbrette, and your sandalwood and musk. So it has a lot of those woody musky accords or woody musky notes. So that one gives a little bit of the woody powdery that's in the dry down of this one. But the florals stay throughout the whole fragrance. You get a lot of it in the top and a little bit in the middle and it stays also in the base. The popcorn, it lasts maybe like an hour or even less than that. It depends on how much you spray and of course if you are really looking for the popcorn note, but if you're just, you know, spraying it and just trying to enjoy the fragrance, then you would get the popcorn maybe for max an hour and then everything will just be florals and woody and something very creamy. So I really, really love this fragrance. I know this one is compared a lot to um, Paco Rabanne's Olympia. So I do have the original Olympia and I sprayed it on my left arm. I don't know why people compare the two because I don't see 
any similarities. They are very different fragrances to me. Um, this one is a very soft floral. It's very smooth to the nose. And this one is just, this is a very beautiful fragrance. I love smelling this one, but I do have to admit that I have to be in the mood to spray this on. I can spray this on me at home, but I can be sometimes like, oh, what am I wearing? Or this, I don't know, this is just very, I don't know, I would say harsh or like strong, sometimes pungent. I do get a lot of the ginger, the jasmine, and the salt that's in here. Um, I love this fragrance. I love smelling it, but I wish I got the vanilla more in this one because that's why I really wanted to get this. I do get it in the dry down when all of the salt, when all of the ginger kind of fades. The ginger stays a little bit on the base. I still detect it and a little bit of the salt, but I do get a lot of the woody notes in here and the base and a little bit of sweetness, but I wish I wish that the sweetness from the vanilla was a lot stronger or like more prominent compared to the ginger, but that's on my nose, that's what I get from this one. But I do hear that a lot of people think that this one is a very sweet, woody, um, a unique fragrance. It is a unique fragrance, but I wish the sweetness lasted a lot longer. And this one just stays sweet the whole time. It's a sweet, fruity, floral fragrance, but they are not the same. I sprayed them. I don't see the similarities. This one is your straight up citrus. You get the salt right away. This is very loud. This is very obnoxious. And this one is a little bit loud with the florals, but it's very smooth. It's very pleasing. It's just very, just an overall pleasant scent. And this one, you need to be in the mood. I need to be in the mood to wear this one. It's a beautiful fragrance, but they are not the same. I have been asking people around to do sense a bit of similarity between them and I do think around 40 or 50 people on Fragrantica said that this one smells like Olympia. I disagree. I don't detect any similarities between them but you know that's my nose and of course our body chemistry affects a lot with how we smell our fragrances. But for me, I don't see any similarities, but I'm still debating on whether I'm keeping both of them, but I really do love this one compared to this one. Just being a fragrance in themselves and not being as from the same house or very similar scents. But I do love this one so much, I cannot say that it is similar to Olympia. And I do have the original one. I don't have the Intense. I don't know about the Intense or the Legend or the other versions. I did compare this one also to Olympia Aqua, which I have, but you know, it's not even the same with this one, what more so with the Aqua version. So yes, if you have Pure Excess, if you're thinking about Pure Excess, all I can say is that this is a floral fragrance. Your straight up floral fragrance with a little bit of savoriness in there from the popcorn. I get a little bit of milky nuance from the coconut. And this one has a little bit of sweet fruity note from the peach. That's all I get. Of course, our skin reacts to perfumes differently. Some people can detect the popcorn a lot more and some people are put off by that. But for me, honestly, I am okay with it. It's a very light popcorn scent on me and it doesn't bother my nose at all. So this is a very beautiful fragrance. I would say you can use it during the colder days. Perfect for fall and winter. It can be a little bit too powdery and way too much during the super cold days. So if, there, if you are gonna be with someone who are very sensitive to scents, I would say um, skip this one or maybe spray a little bit less if you really want to wear it. But this one lasts a long time. I said eight to plus hours with moderate to heavy sillage. Again, depending on how much you spray and when you sprayed this perfume. So this is Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. If you guys own this fragrance, let me know down in the comment section. And if you are thinking of getting it, let me know as well. I have been thinking of getting this one for a long time, for months, and have been putting it on and off my card and then in my card and then off my card. And I finally pulled the trigger because I did a last haul for the year. So I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a last haul or if it's like a last full bottle haul. I did have a last haul for the year. I am planning on that and I hope I can stick to that till December, but I do have 
quite a lot of fragrances that I am planning to add to my collection. And just also to put it out there, I will be doing a declutter pretty soon. So watch out for that as well. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you found this helpful or even entertaining at the least. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to click the like button, as I said, and leave comments down in the comment section since that helps my channel a lot. Again, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you like my videos or anything and everything about perfume, then consider subscribing and click the notification bell when you do. Again, thank you guys for watching. That's it for today's video. Have fun, stay safe, much love, and see you on the next one.